Welcome to biologyexamsforyou.com. Today the topic of our discussion is humoral immunity stepwise explanation. The pathway 1, B cell mediated pathway that is independent of T helper cells. First of all, starting with the definition, humoral immune response. It is a host defense mechanism that are mediated by antibodies produced by plasma cells of B cells in tissue fluids, limbs, etc. It protects against extracellular pathogen and also foreign macromolecule. Now moving into the detail, step 1 is B cell activation. Suppose this is a naive B cell. Naive B cell is a B cell that hasn't encountered an antigen before. It is having a B cell receptor that is having high specificity for a particular pathogen or an epitope of a pathogen. A B cell is having MHC class 1 receptor as this is a nucleated cell. It is also having MHC class 2 receptor as this is an antigen presenting cell. So we have discussed the difference between MHC class 1 and class 2 in previous video in detail. This is naive B cell 2. This is having a different specificity. So inside the system there are numerous B cells with different specificities that is directed against different pathogens, specifically different epitopes of different pathogens. So suppose this is a viral particle. This viral particle has bound to a B cell receptor. This causes the activation of this B cell. B cell activation occurs when antigen binds to the naive B cell receptor. Upon activation, this particular B cell with this specificity is selected to divide. The second step is called as clonal selection or division of that activated B cell. This B cell with this B cell 1 with, its, with this specificity is selected to divide. That particular clone of cell is selected to divide. That's why it is called as clonal selection. Numerous B cells are produced inside the system. Now step 3, this is followed by differentiation. Differentiation into plasma cells and memory B cells. And this is a step 4. Plasma cells are responsible for the production of antibodies that binds to the antigen. Millions of antibodies are synthesized by these plasma cells. So numerous antibodies are synthesized and that will be released into the bloodstream into the circulation. So now this is a viral particle. In the bloodstream numerous pathogenic particles are right there and the antibodies can bind to this viral particle directly making it ineffective or it will be neutralized. Once antigen bound viral particle will be soon cleared from the system by different immune cells like macrophages, monocytes, etc. Regarding the role of memory B cells, memory B cells are responsible for immunologic memory or secondary response that is a typical characteristics of adaptive immune response. If the same pathogen attacks the person for the second time, this memory B cell will recognize the pathogen easily and it will mount a quick immune response, eliminating the pathogen at the earliest from the system. So this is a summary. First of all, in humoral immune response starts with B cell activation, binding of antigen to the B cell receptor. This is followed by clonal selection, selection of that particular B cell to divide. This is followed by differentiation. That divided B cell will differentiate to form two types of cells, plasma cells and memory B cells. Plasma cells will synthesize antibodies and is released into the bloodstream so that it can directly bind to the pathogen. Whereas memory B cells are responsible for immunologic memory or secondary immune response. Hope you got the point. Thank you so much for watching. You are with biologyexamsworry.com. If you like this video, please subscribe, share and like. 